that is, uh, oh boy. Cracked here, bubbling. Sorry, it's shaking one second. I gotta scoop myself. Okay. Come on, focus. See, small bubbles coming out of there. Got another crack here. This one's leaking much faster. I don't know who put the tire on this without seeing that. Continue along. Another very large crack. Probably the biggest one on the rim. Oh, okay, there's another big one. Maybe I was wrong. That one's probably almost just as big. And that one also extends up over the top of the rim. More bubbles, more air leaking. Continue along the rim. Another crack. Let's put some stuff on that one. I don't think that one's leaking, or at least not leaking quickly. And that takes us back around. Yeah, I know, now that I'm recording. There it goes. Look at that yumminess in there. Mmm. See the axle. You can go you can go ahead whenever if you want. Here we have a wonderful water pump. It's just a little bit worn out, don't you think? I could probably almost pull that thing straight out. Summer states, belt squealing. I wonder why. Doesn't want to. Nope, doesn't want to pick it up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's good. That's like almost all the way up to oh, the. Oh, uh, half full. Yeah. That's really good. That's that's nice. You know what's gone wrong when the fluid's coming out. <laughs> Ew. It's got little, it's got chunks in there too. That shit's finger tight. You know it. 
Okay. Go ahead. I have this wonderful BMW X5 that the customer really takes good care of. And it has a bit of an oil leak. As you can see here, it's leaking a little, just, just a little bit. Okay, now you may ask, what could possibly be making an oil leak that fast? Running for about 20 seconds, and it's leaking all over. Well, of course it'd be leaking from your alternator bracket. It's... It's perfectly normal to be able to take one finger and just mush that tensioner right down. Variable displacement belt for extra efficiency. Gross spark plug. This customer came in wanting an oil change done without the filter because according to them, they just changed it last oil change. We of course said no, you have to do the filter as well, and they were pretty cheap, only about $6. The filter was so built up with hard oil, you couldn't see the media anymore, and, the, and a metal pick couldn't remove the buildup. Here you can see what the new filter looks like next to the old one, and really how built up all of the hard oil was. This customer came in with their Jeep saying their, their clutch just started acting funny. And when we got in the car and put it in gear, you could barely get the car to move. So the clutch ended up being you know entirely metal to metal, as you can see. This car came in with the customer saying when they were turning left and right, they would hear a thunking noise. Uh, the picture that you see here, it's a little exacerbated because the car is halfway up on a lift. But when you would turn left and right, the whole wheel would rock about 30 degrees back and forth from the strut breaking off. <laughs> <laughs> it's so big. Giggity. Fuck me. Ah. Okay. I was sitting in that car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, it's fast. <laughs> Dude, it did, I didn't even see it. Oh my gosh, that was fast. You unleashed it in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> uh...